Honorable Chief Minister, Ms. Mamta Banerjee, Ministers, sorry, uh, Honorable Governor, uh, Mr. Dhankar, Honorable Chief Minister, Ms. Mamta Banerjee, Ministers, members on the dais and distinguished guests. It is indeed a pleasure to be here today and contribute to Mamta Didi's great vision of making Bengal an economic, social and cultural powerhouse of India. But before I dive into the details of this summit, I want to let our guests know what metal Bengal is really made of. Since ancient times, India has been known as the Sone Ki Chidiya or the Golden Bird due to its abundance of culture, heritage and wealth. In fact, in the late 17th century, India was the largest economy and manufacturing hub of the world, producing about a quarter of global GDP. And it was Bengal, this land, that was India's wealthiest province. Bengal was described as the paradise of nations due to the quality of its living standards, products and people, all of which were amongst the highest or the best globally. It is to regain that glory for which Mamata Didi has been working so tirelessly. If you look closely, the government of West Bengal has consistently evolved its policies and vision to maintain its competitive position. An example of this is the spectrum of recent transformative and future-ready reforms that were ushered into to propel the state's economy. Policy on information and communication technology, logistics park, development and promotion policy, electric vehicle policy 2021 to support the sustainable transportation and creation of future-ready infrastructure hub. These are the grassroots and structural reforms that are essential to fuel the state's economy. West Bengal is today the sixth largest economy of our country with $200 billion of GDP, which is equivalent to 15.4 lakh crores. The state has witnessed consistent and positive growth of over 12% compounded over the last decade. And we saw in the AB that even during the pandemic, the state grew at 7.2%. This is in spite of the pandemic which caused degrowth across most nations and states globally. More importantly, this is an outcome of the state's condu conducive and pragmatic approach to business. But that alone does not make this land so attractive. A thriving set of industries such as silk, agriculture, steel, power, coal mining, jute, tea and shipbuilding amongst others put Bengal on the global map long before and after the British ruled India. The Ganga Delta along with 10 other major rivers that empties into the Bay of Bengal is one of world's most fertile regions on the planet. It is rich in minerals and agricultural produce making West Bengal India's leading producer of food crops such as rice, potatoes, oil seeds and pulses. It is also known for producing two-thirds of India's jute along with globally sought produce such as tobacco, tea, mango, lychee, pineapple, etc. With several major trading ports and international sea lanes passing through, Bengal is most strategically located for export business to thrive. It is this optimal mix of modern infrastructure, geographical positioning, progressive policy and development of coal sectors coupled with a population fluent in English that have thrust West Bengal into a top tier destination for global investment. From my experience, it is clear that Bengal means business. And proof of this lies in the thousands of delegates who have convened here today for the 6th Bengal Global Business Summit. I see people from different countries and industries here for a common purpose to explore business opportunities, forge partnerships and contribute to Bengal's growth. BGBS has over the years attracted investment proposals amounting to over rupees 12 trillion. I am here today to push that further. 
In my last Bengal summit address, I spoke of my interest in investing in the state of Bengal. JSW commissioned a greenfield cement unit near Shalboni, which is now undergoing an enormous expansion. To this accord, I must highlight that our experience of starting up and running an industry here has been seamless and lucrative. We have not lost not even a single man day of operations at our plant due to supply chain, labor or utilities issues. A testament to the pro-business environment that exists here. Before I came, there were so much of naysayers that Bengal, you will have labor trouble, you will have this, but Mamata Didi had assured me on day one that you will not face any problem and this is a testament of that. Now to demonstrate my ongoing commitments to West Bengal, we are keenly pursuing a 900 megawatt hydro pump storage project 